Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a physical install of the Wi-Fi Ring Video Doorbell Pro. This is a follow-up presentation to my unboxing video. Today I'll be venturing outside in the cold to install this HD video doorbell next to my front door. This process involves two major steps. First, the install of the Pro Power Kit, and that goes on my existing doorbell. This uses the power from the current doorbell to power the new doorbell outside. Second of all, replacing the old outdoor button with this new one. Since the placement of my old doorbell is at a 90 degree angle to my door, I'll be using these angle brackets to point the camera towards the approach area of my door instead of my neighbor's yard. More details on these brackets and the ring doorbell are available on my blog at newfieboard.com. I'll put a link in the description below. So let's get the power on my breaker shut off so I can safely install this Pro Power Kit. Once that's done, you can pop the cover off your current doorbell. There are three screws inside which are used for securing the three wires. One for the front door, one for the back, and one for trans, which steps down the power. These wires go directly to your doorbell buttons, and in my case, I have two, one for the front and one for the back. Here, I'm loosening the screw with the label front. The wire is over an inch long exposed, so I have to cut that down to about half the length. I don't want any of that exposed wire showing once it's inside of my connector. Now that connector is already attached to a wire labeled front from the kit. Once that wire is inserted into the connector, close the latch and that will complete the circuit. The other end of the wire from the kit labeled front now needs to be secured to your current doorbell where you just removed that last wire. And now you want to go ahead and repeat that exact same process, but with the wires labeled trans. Now that the wiring is all done on this end, you need to tuck everything away so that you can replace your cover. Make sure there's nothing touching the chimes or the bells on your system, otherwise they will not ring properly. Luckily there's double sided tape on the power kit so you can secure it inside of your doorbell or even outside if you need it to. And here's a quick look at the location of the install today. The existing doorbell is on the sidewall and I will need to use those metal brackets that I presented in my unboxing video here. That will help you point the camera towards the front of the property and not the side. So I've already gone ahead and removed the old doorbell. And I'm unable to use the plate that came with the kit because the angle brackets do not fit out correctly. The brackets would fit on like this so that the holes line up, but then this looks awkward. So I'm not going to use the back plate. I'll just put both of these on like so, and then the doorbell on that. So these go on one at a time and then one fastens on to the other. So the first step is to mark my drill holes, which I'll use this smaller bit for. Then using the provided drill bit by ring, I will go ahead and drill those two holes. And now I'm going to insert those anchors provided in the kit. And it's at this point I realized that the screws included in the kit are too short because my grout on my natural stone is about a half an inch deep. So it's time to make a run to the hardware store. Okay, I'm back. So I was thinking about this and I'm going to add a little bit of caulking in here to ensure that no moisture gets in this little gap. I picked up these longer one and a half inch screws, which are a little bit wider, but they still should fit okay inside of my anchors. So the bracket labeled A would go on first. And now bracket B goes on top of that one to put it on a more, more of an angle. So 
So let's remove the covering from the doorbell. Pop that off. And then loosen the screws on the back. And I'm just going to tidy these wires up a little bit. It doesn't matter which wire goes on where. And then now we want to tuck those wires inside. And then put in the final screws. Remove those pieces of film. And now the hard part is done. So let's go inside and turn on the electricity. Welcome to Ring, the world's most advanced doorbell. Follow the instructions in the Ring app to continue. Press the setup button on the side of the doorbell to set up the app. To avoid crapping too much information into this video, I'll walk through the steps of setting up the app and showing you the daytime and nighttime footage in a separate video. Lastly, secure the cover with the star screw and you're done. So overall the physical install was pretty easy. I did have to purchase longer screws to get the wedges installed due to the deep space between my rocks. Also I couldn't install the back plate because the screw holes on my wedge didn't line up to those on the back plate. The two 90 degree angle adapters position my camera perfectly providing a good look out onto the door itself and the approach area to my home. So far I'm impressed with the quality of the product. I wish it was wired to my network or powered over ethernet but once I get the app installed I'll do some lag testing. I'll be setting up the app and playing with the motion detection features in a future video so please subscribe to my channel so you get notification of when this is, this is released. Also check out my blog for more information on the products I showed today, the ring doorbell and the wedges. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.